This is David Bedin, head of the Nachum Bedin Center for Near East Policy Research. For 37 years, our agency has covered UNRWA, which comprises 59 Arab refugee camps, where the children learn in those refugee camps the concept of the right of return to homes that existed before 1948. These are children, grandchildren, great-grandchildren of refugees who fled Israel in, in, when the, in, in the 1948 war. What's important to emphasize is that the education they're getting is not a theoretical education about the idea of the right of return, but how they have to fight for the right of return and fight to the death for the right of return. Take a look at these two movies to understand who Israel is right now battling and who is dying on the front line and how it's ha how our children were trained. One movie was made in, in 2021. The other movie was made in 2023. It speaks for itself. Thank you. And anyone who is a, who is a citizen of a donor nation to UNRWA should take this very seriously. The Askar refugee camp, located on the outskirts of Nablus, is one of 19 Palestinian refugee camps in Judea and Samaria, controlled and maintained by UNRWA, the United Nations Relief and Works Agency, which benefits from a whopping budget of $1.6 billion, flowing from 67 donor countries and 33 international NGOs. 58% of that budget funds the UNRWA school system, which emphasizes and promotes the right of return as the underlying principle for its operations it's very reason for being. احنا تهجرنا من يافا واليوم جايين نحكي عن حقنا بالعودة ونكفل حدت ما نرجع لأراضينا في يافا وأراضينا بحيفا والليد والرملة إنه راح نرجع قريبا جدا لو شو ما يصير يصير مش راح يصير سلام السلام بدنا شيء شو بعلموك عن حق العودة بالمدارس؟ أكثر واحنا مش راح شيء هذا كلنا واحنا لازم ندافع عن وطننا كتير. راح راح نخد راح نخد حقنا والله ينتقم منه إن شاء الله يموت كلهم فطر عاشم يتفلسطين وراح راح تضل هلا وش راح تتغير لا راح تضل هلا المستوطنين اللي فيها كلهم راح يفتخوا يا توتة الدار صبرك على الزمان انجار لا بد ما نعود مهما طول المشوار يا با يا با يا با يا با يا با وحابة أقول لكم إنه مفتاح العودة لساته معنا وراح نفتح يوم من الأيام في بيوتنا مثل إني بتعلم بجهدي وحق إني أخذ وطني وحر ونحرر فلسطين يعني الناس شهداء يعني بدر يحرر فلسطين إذا بنضلهم هيك أنا نور المسيمة مديرة نادي أشبال العاصفة إحنا كل سنة اللجنة الوطنية بتعمل نوادي صيفية في مخيم عسكر قسمنا الأطفال لأربع مجموعات حتى بأسماء شهدائنا في مخيم عسكر أساسهم يضلوا حاضرين في ذهنهم وفي أفكارهم وتعلموا منهم البطولة ويضلهم مستمرين في درب المقاومة في عندهم يعني كل طفل مستعد يكون مشروع شهيد مقابل إنه يحافظ على المبادئ اللي إحنا مترسخة عنا حقنا في العودة وإن شاء الله انتفاضة أقوى جاية وهذول أطفالنا هم اللي راح يفقدوها. The delusion of refugees going back to homes they left in the wake of the 1948 war, homes which are long gone, has turned into the source, the motivation, and the promoter of the armed rebellion against the Jews. Askar is the smallest of the refugee camps in Judea and Samaria, yet stands out as the camp with the highest amount of Palestinians engaged in terror activity in relation to the number of its inhabitants including the highest number of Shahids, armed terrorists killed in the act of murder, and the largest number of convicts serving life imprisonment for murder. مخيم مقاتل, مخيم مقاوم, مخيم يقدم الشهيد تلو الشهيد ومن جميع الأطياف ومن جميع الأعمار ومن جميع التوجهات. From this refugee camp embarked the Palestinian assassin of brothers Hillel and Yagel Yaniv from Harbracha, who were killed driving through Hawara in February 2023. It was also home to a 15-year-old terrorist who set out this past April from Askar, armed with a gun, shooting and severely injuring two Jews in Jerusalem. 
Oscar is also home to the three-man terrorist squad who, on April 7, 2023, murdered Lucy D. and her two daughters, 15-year-old Rena and 20-year-old Maya, in a drive-by shooting. The perpetrators of these heinous killings are hailed today as heroes in the Oscar refugee camp. As soon as the murder of this Jewish woman and her two young daughters became known, sweets were handed out on the streets of Askar as an expression of happiness and triumph. The funeral of Hassan Katanani, the terrorist who pulled the gun on the D family, grew into a huge rally of support, which consisted of everyone from the Askar refugee camp as they celebrated the murder of Jews and the destruction of Israel. <laughs> سوى عملية لأنه أول شيء دفع عن وطنه وعن كرامته رجع شوية من الكرامة لما هجرونا من ديورنا وبيوتنا من أسيطر أسيطر على أراضينا مين هدول؟ مين هدول؟ إبراهيم النابلسي ومدينة حواح حواح وعبد الله الحسني وأحمد السعدي مين هدول؟ مين هدول؟ إيه؟ كل مخيم أبطال في صالح صبرة وفي معازي مصر وفي حسن قطناني وفي كتير شهداء ونعطي لأخوتنا المقاومين نهديهم سلام والله يحمي كل واحد مقاوم لحية لكتيبة عسكر وكتيبة جنين وكتيبة بلاطة هاد عمي الله يرحمه استشهد ألفين واثنين وعشرين تمانية وعشرين عشرة ألفين واثنين وعشرين وين استشهد وكيف استشهد؟ عملية على حاجز حوارة Posters with pictures of the killers were plastered in every corner of Oscar, while songs of praise for the murderers were composed in their honor. Oscar's UNRWA summer camps were even named for these murderers. Surat al Batal Ibrahim al Nabulsi, because he was not a man, he was not a man, he was a man. I love Ibrahim because he was a man for all the young people of Nablus, and he was a man for all the young people of Nablus. Surat al Shahid al Batal Abdul al Husari. أرعب كيان وعطش ومدمر وعسير وأسير وجريح وشهيد أنا حبيت عشان كان مخاوم ودافع عن وطني. The family of Hassan Katanani was congratulated with pride and approval that their son had the honor to kill a Jewish woman and her two young daughters while driving in their car to meet family members during the Passover holiday. They expressed their hope and wish that the terrorist young children would go in the footsteps of their father and merit to become holy shahid just like their blessed father. The terrorist mother expressed herself in her own way. Memorial ceremonies for holy martyrs and festivals celebrate the release of terrorists from prison at weddings and family celebrations accompanied by shooting rifles and pistols. Hundreds of Oscar youth take part in these ceremonies, including children and young adolescents, absorbing the message of blind hatred so that they too can become the killers and shaheeds of the future. The amount of weapons in the Oscar refugee camp are huge. Oscar now boasts at least 200 wanted terrorists just waiting to commit the next acts of murder. This is how the right of return, the reason for being of UNRWA, has become a source of lethal violence that surpasses the organization's hollow slogans for peace. The time has come for donor nations to think again about blind support for UNRWA. Hamas and Islamic Jihad Summer Camps 2021, the way children from UNRWA schools spent their summer vacation.
واحنا جيل فلسطين احنا بنعشق الشهاده والله احنا بنجاهد عشان القدس وعشان وطننا ونموت شهداء هاي جيل التحرير ها بنحرر فلسطين والقدس وكل الدول المحتله يا طرف عشان نحارب اليوم تم أكبر وندافع عن القدس وعن فلسطين نتدرب ونستعد لأي حرب جاية لأن نحن الجيل الجديد الذي يعود لأرضه وسنحرر أقصى بإذن الله As the world has witnessed every year over the past decade, UNRWA students, even those who have not yet finished elementary school, are lured to participate in summer camps for armed guerrilla warfare. These children, who should expect UNRWA to provide a normal summer vacation environment, fall prey to terror groups that lurk everywhere, or are sent to these programs by their own parents. This summer, armed operatives signed up tens of thousands of UNRWA students ages 10 to 17 for summer camps offering extensive military training. Recruitment took place in mosques and at registration tables throughout the Gaza Strip. <laughs> At terrorist bases belonging to Hamas and Islamic Jihad, the youngsters experienced intense military discipline and systematic indoctrination with one objective in mind, to fight and die for jihad and to annihilate the Jewish state. <laughs> At the summer camps, UNRWA youngsters learned to view the United States and Israel as the devil, the ultimate enemy. They trampled on the flags of both nations and set them afire. جايين اليوم إحنا عن مخيمات سيف القدس اقترب الوعد حتى نبنى أجسامنا وأجسادنا حتى نقهر بني صهيون ونرجع على أراضينا المحتلة كان اليهود من همش قيمة هنا يعني من همش أرض نتضرب نجاهد في سبيل الله ونستشهد إن شاء الله في سبيل الله تكبير تكبير حلمي إنه أطلع إني يعني أسير دكتور ومقاوم يعني علم مع جهات في سبيل الله وعشان نحرر فلسطين ونطهرها من اليهود من الاحتلال الصهيوني المجرم. ما فيش حاجة اسمها دولة إسرائيل أصلاً. عشان يكون لهم عاصمة قبل كل شيء. إذا القدس عاصمة فلسطين الأبدية.
They learned how to use automatic weapons of all kinds. Instructors taught them how to assemble each weapon, hold it correctly, and operate it. أول إشي تدريب أول إشي يعلمونا طريقة اسب السلاح وفك السلاح وكيف تنضب تاني إشي طريقة حمل السلاح تد إشي عندك التدريب القوي دك من تحت تحت الزحف تدريب تالت إشي إن نحمل كيف نطخ لقدام نتعلم كيف نطخ ونصوب الأهداف القريبة ونتعلم على الأسلحة بأنواعها المدربين ما شاء الله عليهم هان بعلموا كل أنواع الأسلحة هان. The terrorists working as camp instructors provided them with detailed descriptions of the mortars used by Hamas and Islamic Jihad, and even of the tanks used by the Israel Defense Forces. The UNRWA youngsters practiced fighting in built-up areas as well as commandeering a vehicle. احنا ما بنقدر نحرر الا بالسلاح زي ما هم بحاربونا بالسلاح احنا على حرر بالسلاح هي هيك المعادله ما بيفهموا الا بلغه السلاح. One exercise featured a mock-up of an Israeli tank. The idea was to teach the children how to sneak up on a tank and kidnap Israeli soldiers. عشان هيك احنا بنحارب وبنتعلم من الصغار عشان ايش؟ عشان لما نكبر نبقى مستعدين لمقاتلة اليهود. وتطردهم من البلد لانه هذه مش بلدهم يرجعوا بلدهم، هذه مش بلدهم هذه بلدنا. لما اكبر بدي استشهد واعمل عمليات مدافع عن وطن وعن ارضه، هذه فلسطين. انا والله نفسي استشهد. واحنا رجال محمد ضيف. نعلمهم فن القتال مع هذا العدو المغتصب نعم. الذي اغتصب ارضنا فنحن سنعد هذا الجيل ومن اجل ان نفجر جماجم هذا العدو من تحت الارض نخرج اليكم ندق الرعب في قلوبكم ومن فوق الارض بصواريخنا نقطعكم اشتاق اشتاق Top commanders from Hamas and Islamic Jihad were in charge of the military training and stated clearly that the goal was for the youngsters to take part in the future battle against Israel. The children attending the summer camps were taught about their so-called inalienable right of return to cities inside Israel such as Jaffa, Lod, Haifa, Beersheba, Ashdod, and Ashkelon. With these cities just kilometers away, they were told that a return was literally in reach. Inshallah, we will return. Inshallah, all the people of Qasam will be with us, because this is the land of the Nasliya. We will be able to get rid of it. We will be able to get rid of it. We will be able to get rid of it. We will be able to get rid of it. We will be able to get rid of it. We will be able to get rid of it. We will be able to get rid of it. نحن نساء الجهاد والشهادة لأرضنا. Girls affiliated with Islamic Jihad happily recited the mantras of terror. They are an integral part of the movement, meant to show that terrorism is not a male-dominated system. لا بد لنا أن نقوم ببناء جيل قرآني واعي لا بد لنا كأمهات فلسطينيات أن نرسل أبناؤنا إلى هذه الأماكن لنزرع فيهم حب البلاد حب فلسطين حب الجهاد لا بد أن كل أم رأى منا تكون أم الشهيد أخت الشهيد يعني نزيد الوعي الثقافي عند أبنائنا حتى يجي يوم وهذه الأطفال يصير يعني مقاومة وتصير الدفع هي عن الأرض والرجاء إلى The women of Islamic Jihad bestowed the legacy of their cause on the next generation Notably, the summer camps featured the photos of female suicide bombers who blew themselves up to murder Jews. أنا بلدة الأصلية بلدة يبنا حنعود عليها بالحجر والسكينة. هم أصلاً أعداء ويهود هم من هم اليهود هم طبعاً قبائل تجمعت من كل دول العالم وأجهد كون لهم وطن كما يدعون لهم في فلسطين. As the summer camps drew to a close, each camper received a certificate of appreciation, complete with his photo, attesting to the completion of formal weapons training and a readiness to fight the Jews. For the UNRWA students, these photos depicted them with automatic weapons and showed them imbued with ideological motivation.
المجاهدين في اعمالهم ويتسمعه نبيا وهم مجاهدون في الاسلام في امر الله Clearly, the Hamas and Islamic Jihad summer camps have become training grounds for the vilification of Israel. UNRWA teachers and textbooks complement this with an ideology and curriculum that promotes armed struggle for the right of return. Last May, the most recent outbreak of anti-Israel violence in Gaza exposed a tunnel dug by Hamas under a school in UNRWA's Zaytun refugee camp. Here is the evidence. Hamas thus takes the UNRWA children captive not only during the summer, but during the school year itself. UNRWA students constitute a future terror army aimed at liquidating Israel based on the illusion of a right of return. UNRWA can no longer act as if it does not know. UNRWA is proud of its 400 schools in Gaza, Judea and Samaria and Jerusalem. It allocates 58% of its budget for an education system that indoctrinates a new generation for war. In essence, it has abandoned its students. The time has come for UNRWA to teach peace and coexistence during both the school year and summer vacation. The time has come for the world to demand oversight of UNRWA schools. The time has come for donor nations to put an end to UNRWA anarchy. ده انا اسمي ضياء ابو الديب صف سادس عمر 12 يا فا انا اسمي حمزه بوهين من بلد برير اسمي قصايا عمر 13 سنه من المجد انا من بلده حمامه اسمي خالد انا اسمي اسر البيك من بلده تربيه شمس يوسف اسير من حيفا اسمي عاصم فرج من الشعيه واصلي من بئر السبع انا اسمي راب سكران عمر 15 سنه انا اصلي من المجد عبد الله تاسع يافا محمد عبد الله سليم 13 سنة بير السبع فايز عبد الكريم مصباح الداية 12 من حيفا أنا اسمي أسماء الجرو أنا بلدة الأصلية بلدة تيبلا اسمي فداء أبو طيور لاجئة أصل من بلدة سرفان بن عمار Thank you.